When I chatted with Ken, and that was back in 2005, he asked me, had I heard about a thing about uh, Web 2.0? And this was back in 2005, um, well before, you know, Twitter, Facebook, or MySpace really was in that, that vogue. And I was like, I thought I was on the cutting edge and knew what was going on. And I said, no, and, and you'd ask me, Ken, I don't even know if you even remember, but um, said, do you, have you heard about this Web 2.0 thing? Which has since gone on to be hugely massive, obviously. We all, all know where Web 2.0 is these days. At the moment, he's sort of the head of the ship over at Site Builder, and I know this is a huge intro, but they've got 40,000 plus customers, 80,000 plus affiliates. He's built up a, a massive empire, and I'm so honoured just to get a little bit of his time, so I'd like to welcome you to the call, Ken. Thanks, sir. Thanks very much, David, for that. <laughs> for that. It's a wonderful introduction. It has been a, an interesting and long and winding road from uh, starting out with Make Your Site Sell, which was based on a hobby and little penny mining stock, which was a mathematical model that I had developed to, to find uh, basically dead-looking stocks. And it's never given me pleasure to make money just to make money. So when I got on the Internet to do a little research for these stocks, within a month I realized that the Internet was a really a, an infinite number of, of niches. And as opposed to being a consumer of information, which is what I was in the first month I was online, I decided that it made an awful lot of sense to be a producer of information, and to use that information to reach people with a similar interest that I had and to uh, sell a product. In those days, Amazon was getting started. Nobody. The big question was, could the net actually be used for commercial purposes? And uh, that's when I taught, set about basically teaching myself how to write software so I could take my little database and turn it into uh, a product. And even then, it was very much like Psycho. It was a combination of an e-book and the tools, how to build a website that would sell, writing good sales copy, and finally how to get found at the search engine. So over a period of a year, learned how to do all that, launched a little product, Penny Gold. And I think if you look up Penny Mining Stocks, you'll still see that old site. I think it's goodbytes.com slash Penny Gold in the top ten. People still find it. They'll send an email in asking for how much for this. And we sold a 1,000 copies at $1,000. I thought it would take us three years to do it. We had sold out within I think, a year and a half. And we still get emails to this day of people who find that site saying, I will pay anything for that, $5,000, $10,000. I have to have it. And the answer from support is, what part of it's not for sale do you not understand? I still get emails from people who use that original software. Uh, a couple months ago, a very nice guy sent me a, a golden penny product called yeah. Penny Gold and um, basically said, you know, you changed my life. Uh, I bought your product with my last thousand dollars, borrowed a couple thousand dollars from family, was in debt, and now I have a six hundred thousand dollar house paid for, seven hundred thousand dollars in the bank, absolutely no debt. I do nothing but invest my own money and my friend's money in return for a percentage and earn a very handsome living. Uh, I was very happy for that chap, but like I said, it gives me no. I, I could not do that. It gives me no pleasure to make money just to make money. There's nothing productive in that. It's fun as a hobby. It was fun as an experiment in human psychology and developing a mathematical model to predict it. But once I knew it worked and, and made quite a bit of money doing that, uh, it became more interesting once I found the Internet to say, I wonder if I could turn this into a product and sell it. Well, based on all that I learned from that, that's where Make Your Site Sell came. You know, Make Your Site Sell was really the first book that was really at a reasonable price, hardcore, based on experience that worked information on how to develop a product, a site that would, originally it was just meant to sell, but it grew into building traffic, the whole, everything you need to build a successful website. From there, over then, there's a series of branded books, make your this sell, knowledge sell, price sell, and so forth and so on. And then after a few years, we realized the vast majority of people love these books, read these books, and don't use the books. It's only a very small number of exceptional people who really can take information like that and use the information, figure it all out, turn it into a system, and succeed. I'd say we've launched an awful lot of big careers. Most of them have been in Internet marketing, uh, not in the general business sphere, not in the small business sphere of uh, raising turtles or uh, my 57 Chevy or whatever it is they happen to know and love. It's, it's a complicated thing to build a successful business. Even back then, it was very easy to put up a website, uh, but not not to build not to build a successful business. 
So the bottom line was we're going to go back to the Penny Gold model. And the Penny Gold model was a combination of a book and the tools that you needed in order to be able to execute properly. If I had just written a book on how to successfully invest in penny mining stocks, most people would not have done it properly. Give them all the tools they need, and suddenly everyday people are able to do extraordinary things. I think that's the biggest lesson I've learned from some site builders is uh, you remove the difficult part, the technical part. It's the part that requires you to have been really like 95% average in, you know, in high school and elementary school and in, in university and statistics and uh, real hardcore left brain stuff. Make that go away and enable people to focus on what they know and love, their business, and they really can do extremely well. So that's when we decided to lead books, and what started out as a very simple little site builder grew into a series that originally aimed at mostly affiliates, grew into a complete 10-day process from uh, brainstorming all the way through to uh, monetizing at the other end. And the basic concept of Make Your Site Sell, which was traffic, making a site that sell, and having good product, morphed into CTPM. On the Internet, a website is useless. Uh, it's just a collection of words and pictures that sits on a hard disk someplace. And if you don't get traffic, it might as well not exist at all, even if you spend 100000 on it. However, if you build a site that delivers content, delivers the information that people are searching for, now you're on the right track. So good content builds traffic when it's properly formatted. And again, there's every tool that's in the site builder from what you should be creating a site about. You may be interested in snowboarding, but there's a way you can turn site snowboarding that's going to be very unprofitable, and there's a way you can spin it or sub-niche it that's going to be very profitable. We invented the whole concept of a theme-based content site. Back when search engine optimizers were laughing at that concept in the late 90s, we developed this in a series of articles that later became the Affiliate Masters course and that became Site Builder with the Tools which is that the engines look more at than it's just single pages. They look at entire sites, what they're about, how well they're respected in terms of inbound links and so forth. So that good content builds traffic, but it also does more than build traffic. It pre-sells.